Hey everybody, I'm Michael and D. Warner, and I'm here for hospitality. In hotels, even if the new normal might cause some variations, just like post World War II, the industry will boom. Mobile check in, in room fitness offerings, and high caliber air conditioning are just some of the things that many have started taking very seriously. There are certain bars in the world risking it all right now. Borders are open. Travel, tourism, and hospitality is business as usual. Hospitality isn't just limited to the industry though, and I believe there are many ways it can help you in your career and or business. There is no one definition that everybody can agree on. Like love, it's a term that many are fascinated with. So today, um, I'm finally starting my first video after weeks, months of procrastination. Most people have when it comes to starting about doing anything. It's like they always have something that they need to do first or some condition that needs to be perfect before you can actually start doing what it is you want to do. Today is the weather. You know, we don't have perfect weather, but I really want to start today. Um, so yeah, the last couple of months have been a really tough time in the world, um, but I, I can't really speak on behalf of the world. So speaking on behalf of myself, I've had a really tough time. And for the last couple of years of my life, I've invested heavily in terms of my career and my education. And you know, here I am for a modern day person working in the hospitality industry. I think hospitality could be defined as treating others the way they want to be treated. Providing an experience, not an expectation. <laughs> I think hospitality applies everywhere. I think hospitality applies to yourself, hospitality applies to your mama, friends, co-workers, strangers on the street. Okay, let me, let me give you an example of applying hospitality to myself. So some time ago, uh, I was making myself a salad. In this salad, I decided to use some lettuce that I found in the fridge. I had some of this leftover lettuce. You know sometimes when you just buy produce and you keep it there for a long time and it sort of spoil and it sort of will turn, turn gray and blue. And while I was making the leftover lettuce salad, I was like, you know what? I would never give this to a guest. So why would I give this to myself? And you know, I was probably trying to save money you know, a lot of us do this, you know, trying to save money, trying to be economic. It's actually too common for people to give good hospitality with minimal consideration for themselves. You know, you can't always give what you don't have. I think in order to be able to give good hospitality, you have to be receiving good hospitality. If it wasn't obvious, hospitality and service is two different things. Service is a function. In service, there are people who are mindful and you can hear a smile even through the phone, you can hear it considering your experience. Some people you can tell they're just running through a list of questions, sometimes not even relevant to what you're dealing with. This is one really good definition by Danny Meyer. If we want to perform a service, any kind of service, you know, we want to do the best and we want to make sure this person thinks that, you know, we, we have treated them well. We, have, we were hospitable to them. You buy a gift for somebody else, you know, like when you buy a gift for somebody, you're going to buy the shit out of that gift. You know, make sure you have a nice bag, nice wrapping. Of course, if they're not available, you at least make sure you pick out a nice box. And if you yourself can't pick out a nice box, you'll ask the person that's selling it to you, they'll pay them what a nice box is. And then, you know, you'll go all the, all the way for somebody. But if you're buying a gift for yourself, Treat yourself how you would like to be treated. Right now, is the fact is that you can only treat yourself and your loved ones with love and hospitality. So find a way to do that. On a daily basis, find a way to, to make something nice for your family member. Find a way to make something nice for yourself. Find a way to do something that you want to do. Find a way to do something that you want to do with somebody you want to do it with. First of all, um, buy a pineapple. Because a pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. And a pineapple is good for your body in terms of like yourself make you healthier on the inside, make you overall healthier and more, of a, more, more capable of treating others the way they want to be treated, if you know what I'm saying. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and more videos on the way.